So it's been six months since we moved in here and we're not yet to really settle. Um, six months for you, for me, like nine months. Yeah, and this is your country. <laughs> it's Hi everyone, Hello. welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking and being here with us. Today I'm again with my husband Alex and we are going to share with you guys how we met and our story about moving to Romania. Met 2019, 2018, 2019 in Malaysia, online dating, online platform. Uh, you had to answer to some questions and based on the answers, they were making an algorithm to match you. Okay, and Cupid. surprisingly, surprisingly, like 99% matching, 96% matching. And, no, it was 100%. Uh, or 100% and... We did go on a date maybe after Which she hated. Because I hated. It seems that I was talking too much, I was eating too much over there. But, <laughs> Um, and after that, I had the nerves to ask her. She was driving a rent car. I had the nerves to ask her to drop me somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no. Next day, he made it up. He made it up. The next day, I still had the car. And he said, hey, why not we go on a trip? And it was his birthday. So we met on Alex's birthday. And started taking trips, short trips, and traveling right off the bat. Like on our second day, we were we were traveling he was taking me to all of these nice places and he was coming up with nice plans so i really liked it i love traveling and he loves traveling so we clicked fast forward it was end of 2019 and uh and you met my father that year and then we moved in together end of that year as well yeah like after six months of dating we moved together mm -hmm. yeah. Covid happened, so suddenly everything stopped. Yeah, it was better to stay stuck. together. To we're stuck with each other. At end of twenty twenty, that's where we started talking about serious stuff, like what's next. Is we were talking that from the beginning, but mm -hmm. Malaysia it's a beautiful country to live in, to work in, to travel, amazing food, uh, great weather, great beaches, but. Everything being stuck. Great beaches. And both me and Yelma, we were there on visas. And this is one of the bad points of living in Malaysia as an expat, expat or a foreigner is that uh, they don't give you residence, permanent, permanent residence easily. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't give citizenship to foreigners easily. There, that's not an option. It's very difficult. So you always had to renew a visa, renew a visa because it was COVID and the uh, economy was bad. Uh, it was, they made things more difficult for expats to, uh, to stay in Malaysia because of COVID was very difficult. Let's move out, where to move out? Move to Singapore, move to Thailand, but again, COVID restrictions. It was very difficult to, to get- To find a job. To and find a job, yeah. to leave the country, to enter the country. So we have two cats and it was really important for us that the country that we we're gonna go is pet friendly and it's easy for us to bring our cats with us. No. Okay, anyway, so Romania was one of the options that we this we thought about at one and point. Germany. Germany, yes, and uh, just moving back to Europe was one one of the options. Why we decided on Romania, there were several uh, reasons. Mm -hmm. Visa-wise, was easier for me and for Bielna to come here as uh, my spouse. Uh, jobs and internet. Yelna is working a lot on the internet, so we have a pretty decent internet over here. That was a good selling point for me for her and in my case I already had a job opportunity long-term plans like education is free here until a certain age for our children also healthcare system is provided by the government so I think that's one of the reasons like healthcare education I remember we yeah. were saying that at some point we would like to send children if they want mm -hmm, to go to mm -hmm, other mm -hmm. countries in Europe it's easier for them if they want to transfer to go to other parts of Europe than from Asia also opening a business is quite easy and uh, if you want to get a house loan at least as a local or if you're working over here 
Yeah. Romania is a developing and towards developing country. So there are a lot of new opportunities that are happening, especially for people who are starting like new, starting fresh like me and Alex. Like we have this great ideas that we just needed some platform, some budgeting, some loan. Where in Malaysia we definitely couldn't, you know. It was more difficult because it was had to come also with visa. So not only the opportunity but, but also you can't the visa. you can't apply for a loan as a foreigner in Malaysia. Uh, unless a local is uh, supporting Sponsor, you, which is very difficult. You. One of the main reasons that Romania became the final decision for us, at least from Alex's side, because uh, at the end of 2020 I lost my father and that was a whole big change for us because at to that point I was at least I had my father as a support system and my my only family and like a reset button it was a reset button for me and so that's where I think Alex came up with the solution that I remember he came to me and he was like let's go home and he told me that I'm gonna take you home and that was it and we knew that okay Romania Romania it is and uh, the the way moving forward for us, or at least for me, is that I, I wanted to marry you. So Alex proposed to me on the same year on Christmas Eve, and we decided to start with the process of moving to Romania. But this was not an easy and straightforward decision for us, coming that we are totally different culture, background, and country. I am a Iranian national and I was staying in Malaysia with a student visa so there are two three ways few ways that you can come and apply for Romanian visa uh, which again because there of COVID many, there were many ways before COVID but with COVID but none of those ways included fiance visa so doesn't matter if I wanted to come to Romania even before COVID I had to apply for tourist visa or student visa or work visa or whatever but none of the, them is a fiance visa like Romania doesn't offer that kind of visa so and then with the COVID there was no tourist visa available so I couldn't I couldn't just come with Alex to Romania and we get married here so we we're like okay what to do uh, there were only two options either I we were married officially married and with the marriage certificate I apply for visa or if I was pregnant, which would have taken even longer. Not pregnant. Mother, Mother of, of child. your child. So we have to get married before going to Romania. Okay, how do we get married? Let's see if uh, there are possibilities to get married in Malaysia. Malaysia has its own rules and conditions on for people getting married, people from different uh, culture and religion and background getting married. There are options for civil wedding and there are options for religious marriages but regardless of anything Malaysia was not taking any foreign applications so even we tried to get lawyers and everything it just didn't work Malaysia did not work for us so we had to find another plan we had to go to a country that they don't have a visa problem for me being Iranian so I had to choose a country that would give me uh, on arrival visa and uh, which is faster and also the borders are open and they provide uh, marriage civil marriage ceremonies for international people mailed few agencies here and there and we decided to go to turkey and we get married there because mm, a very like, connected country with very connected con yeah it's like an in-between country between romania and iran we had to hire like a consultant or something Agent. Like what Agent. was his name I forgot, no. Some great guy. Like he's, he's a good, good guy. Fadir. Aladdin. Aladdin. Oh, even he has such a good name though. Yeah. So Aladdin married. <laughs> Help us get married. Help us get married. It was such an interesting um, experience. Also started planning for relocating our cats. So we found a really, really nice agency <laughs> who helped us take care of all the relocation documents for our cats. They came and picked them up for the vaccines, for the, they already been chipped, so that was not an issue. But like the rabies vaccine or some other documents, yeah. everything Export was sorted. Documents. But Alex had to come to Romania first to get a permission letter or something. Um, 
and then come to Turkey. Yes, and also to bring the cats. Yeah, and Alex left. Alex left with the cats and I was remained in Malaysia. And one suitcase. With one suitcase and I was left in Malaysia to figure out the rest of the stuff, sell everything and pack and... Most of the things were sold before. So. No, most of the things were sold after you left, especially home household stuff. Anyways, I had my friends and his friends who came help me a lot to pack and sell everything. Um, and so Alex left and after three weeks, I went to Turkey. We went to Turkey and some more documentation there. And then we went to this other city called Çanakkale, which was a beautiful, beautiful city. In the middle of COVID and middle of Ramadan. That's how we got married. Like the guy, the agent, Aladdin, told us, I will let you know when the judges are on. So the whole day I had to wear my dress and my makeup and we were just ready to see, are we getting married? Are we getting married today? Or maybe tomorrow, maybe then. And then like in one hour, he's like, the judge is here. Let's go get married. Let's get married. Let's go. <laughs> like it was so... Um, and I called my family in Iran and friends in Malaysia and we were like, we are getting married, married right now. Like, and everybody was online. It was super adventurous and it, it will always be a really fun memory. Now, the next adventure was coming back to get reunited in Romania. But to do that, Yelma had to go home to Iran and I had to come to Romania. To ask for a visa, we needed a Romanian marriage certificate. All this process, I think it took like two weeks to get a Romanian marriage certificate. And after that, we had to submit uh, documents like an invitation letter, marriage certificate, passport copies, birth certificates, uh, and a declaration in front of the immigration guy that how did we met, how long have we been together, but do we have any children, have we been married before? So lots of questions. They asked the similar questions from me in the immigration in Iran because we just had to make sure this the is Romanian a, embassy in, Iran. in the Romanian embassy in Iran because we just had to make sure that I am not marrying him to just yeah convenience <laughs> marriage yeah and it was just so stressful not like we were separated from each other that's one thing but he was going through the stress over here and I was in Iran with my family it was nice but I am not really used to living in Iran because I haven't lived there for years so everything was just so difficult for me to and Iran with COVID and Iran also COVID like I couldn't really travel or meet my friends or any do anything so it was just really really stressful situations and Romanian uh, immigration in Iran were really nice I was really stressed before you know I thought like wow they're gonna question me a lot and stuff no they were really nice and they were actually really helpful because after my first interview with them after two weeks i had an email and say oh come come get your passport your visa is ready i was like oh my god i was so happy um and you came to timishara i came yeah. right uh, i think we were like Shh. for the first two months as i arrived it was just stress releasing like you know we were just like we did it uh. um but yes we made it and here we are in Timisoara and um, there's no going back. Uh, we are starting and settling down here so far. I'm loving it. So far everything seems nice. Uh, a lot to still settle down and learn. Like we are not still as comfortable as we were in Malaysia because Alex was in Malaysia for six years. I was in Malaysia. Seven years and I was in Malaysia for 11 years. So that's a very long time. Thank you guys for watching and listening to our stories. And if you like this video, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you can see what else we're going to share with you guys and everything else about our story and about our journey here in Timisoara and Romania. Um, other than that, have a nice and lovely weekend. This is weekend for us. So stay safe. And bye bye. bye.